So after a long week of working from home, it's time to go flying. So let's go to the airport and see where, we're, where we can go. So the good news is that it's a clear blue sky. The bad news is there's really nowhere to go. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fly to Rhode Island and play with some cameras. So today we're going to go to Newport, Rhode Island, which is a really scenic part of uh, Rhode Island, right by all the water and the Rhode Island Sound there. And on the way we're going to do some practice of a bunch of basic flight maneuvers, and then we're also going to play around with some cameras. I've got some new camera angles that I'm eager to play with, and one of them is this right here. This is a GoPro Hero 7, and I have it mounted on a tripod in the back seat and it is sort of pointed straight at the screens. I'm not sure how well that's going to work, but we're going to try it today. Duchess Ground, Cirrus 547 Tango Juliet at the Juliet hangars with Juliet. Request taxi to 24. Cirrus 547 Tango Juliet, Duchess uh, Ground, runway 24, taxi via Delta Bravo Kilo, cross runway 15. Taxi to 24, Delta Bravo Kilo, cross 15, 7 Tango Juliet. So while I'm taxiing, I keep the taxi diagram on the main screen here, and that allows me to have complete situational awareness of the airport. So today we're going to 24, so we're on taxiway Delta, we're going to cross runway 15, then Bravo, turn right on Bravo and left on Kilo. Now let's do a quick checklist here. Before takeoff checklist. Doors are set. Caps handle. Let's get the caps handle off into its proper home. There we go. Seat belts are good. AC not needed. It is still cold here. Fuel quantity is full. It is on selected on my side. Boost pump on. Mixture rich. Flaps to 50. Check outside, make sure they're really down. Transponder set to 1200. Autopilot, let's check it by putting on the level function, then disconnecting. Looking good. Looking good. Navs and radios are set for takeoff. Brakes are held. Go over to the engine page. Run it up to 1700. There we go, 1700, and then we'll do a mag check, one click to the left, drop of 40, that's good, back to both, two clicks, another good drop of about 50, back to both, turn on all the lights, and everything's in the green here, electricals are all in the green, and everything looks good. Okay, we'll take it back down to a thousand and go back to the checklist. So we just did all of this. Okay, flight instruments are looking good. East matches around east there. Altimeter is set. Looking good. Here and here. Flight controls free and correct. Looking good. Trims, let's set the trim for takeoff. Looks good. Autopilot is disconnected and we are good to go. Clear for takeoff, 2-4, uh, left turn approved, 7 Tango Juliet. Nine. 
knots, positive rate of climb, clear of obstacles, laps up. All right, the flying part of takeoff is all under control. We are level at 3,500 feet. We're just about to enter the state of Connecticut. Okay, so one of the things that we all, always want to make sure we can do is practice all of our hand flying maneuvers. Now, I've got our camera set up. i got this one pointing to the PFD. I've got that one pointing straight ahead to both. And now we're going to turn the autopilot off. There we go. We're level at 3,500, heading 108. And what I'm going to do now is by hand, I'm going to do a left 360 um, and try to maintain exactly 3,500 the entire way. So here goes. And I want to maintain it at this line right there. I want the flight path marker to stay level to the horizon. And I want to be as close to 3,500 the whole way along as I can. There we go, I'm pegged at 3,500. Everything's looking stable. We're pegged here, using a little bit of left rudder. Everything's looking good. Peg to 3,500. Lost about 20 feet, so I'm trying to recover that. There we go, we're recovered. And rolling out, right there. Overshot by three degrees. Now 108, back to 108 at 3,500. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, now try it to the right. Same thing. Try to keep it at 3,500. My right rudder to straighten out that triangle. altitude but I fixed it now I'm pegged back at 3500 halfway through the turn now I'm 180 heading I'm still outside of Oxford's airspace so nobody cares about what I'm doing my flight path marker is pegged on the horizon Close. I am starting to roll out. Rolling out now at 107, 108 right there, and 3520. So 20 feet off of perfect, but uh, good enough for commercial standards. And now we're going to do some slow flight. Uh, I've obviously done clearing turns, there's no traffic anywhere. And now I'm going to go mixture rich, slow the power down, slow it down to about 12 inches of manifold pressure. Still flying entirely by hand, still heading in the general direction of Rhode Island. Okay, we're at 120. One, two, five, slow it down further. Now we're at 90, angle of 
attack is showing 0.69. Pretty close now. Lane is really sluggish. Stall. There's the hall. Stall, Stall. horning. Stall. 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 What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to take it all the way to a stall and see if the autopilot recovers. It Stall. should. Stall. 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 Engaging autopilot. Okay, so it recovered for me from the stall. How cool is that? Okay, enough playing around. We are approaching the water near Grabby Tech. Time to turn left, follow the shoreline toward Rhode Island, and just enjoy the views. If you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe. Or maybe it's over there. Or wherever the button is, just make sure you hit it.